Hi guys, I wanted to jump in here with a quick update. Um, I don't have the best news to report, but um, I don't know if anyone else has felt this way, but I've been feeling really bad lately and didn't really know what was going on. And there's finally some answers and I feel almost relief that there is an explanation for why I have been feeling so bad, even though it isn't the explanation I was hoping for and it isn't really a good explanation. It's kind of scary, but I still feel relief that there's an answer and that, you know, I'm not crazy, which I don't know if anyone can relate to that, but um, some updates on what I just learned today about my health. Number one being my pituitary tumor is back. Number two being I'm in my third episode of secondary adrenal insufficiency, which can be life-threatening. And that's really scary because I don't have any kind of neurosurgeon or endocrinologist right now that can treat this because I'm in a kind of a phase of transition from my previous neurosurgery and endocrinology team because it was too hard to coordinate appointments with being out of town and their schedules and our schedules and everything. So we're in the process of looking for new doctors for me when we get this news and new patient appointments can be, you know, several months. So that's kind of scary for me. Number three being my thyroid levels are bad again. I have hypothyroidism and they are hypothyroid again, even though I have been on thyroid meds for probably like four or five years now. So I'm probably gonna have to increase the dose on my thyroid meds. And then um, I have another UTI again. I had a lot of those in the past year and this one isn't treatable at home or without, you know, really specialty care because I've had like 13 different antibiotics since April of 2019 and I've been on antibiotics almost constantly since October. And so the bacteria has developed a resistance to the oral antibiotics. And so all that's left is like IV antibiotics that are more dangerous. So I'm gonna have to seek out some kind of specialty immunology or uh, infectious disease clinic in order to get that treated and taken care of. But I'm not contagious to anyone. If anyone's worried about me passing it to them, it's fine. And then number five being that I have had been battling three different bouts of C. diff infection since October, which is a really bad gastrointestinal infection. Um, you can look up the symptoms if you want to, but I don't recommend it if you are squeamish in any way, but that has drained me a lot and made me feel really sick and we're looking into some clinical trials and um, a fecal transplant possibly in order to try to finally cure me of the bouts that keep coming back over and over and over. And then number six of the new news being that my B12 levels are low again, despite the fact that I get B12 shots every month. I had my last B12 shot a couple weeks before I had my blood drawn to check my levels and despite getting a shot two weeks ago, my levels are low. And so I don't know what the treatment plan for that is. If we're gonna do sublingual and the shots or do the shots more often, I don't know yet, but it kind of makes me feel afraid because I've had to have some other, um, I don't know if they're called minerals or supplements replaced in my body recently. I'm not a doctor or anything, but it just is really scary to me because it feels like my body is failing and I felt several times that I was so weak and I felt so sick that I was dying. And so I've just been going through a really, really, really rough time with everything these past few months. And it's really sad that you know, the symptoms of my adrenal insufficiency that I now know I have were, you know, anxiety, like my heart pounding, like almost 24 seven, 
I had an unusually low mood, nausea, vomiting, I lost 20 pounds, um, extreme fatigue such that I can hardly drag myself out of bed. Sometimes I need help getting out of bed even. And abdominal pain and then like memory issues with like school and stuff. And there's other um, symptoms of adrenal insufficiency as well, but you can look those up if you're interested. The sad thing though is that I didn't feel worthy of seeking any kind of explanation or help for these things. I just viewed my ha struggling to get out of bed and feeling so fatigued as a moral failure instead of thinking that there was a medical reason for it. I just blamed myself and I didn't think I was worthy of getting help. And I just want you to know that if you feel that way, you are worthy of getting help and I encourage you to go get help because um, I turn out to have a potentially life-threatening condition. So who knows what might have happened if I didn't end up seeking help. So yeah, that's my update. It's not the happiest update. It's not the worst update. But I always say, you know, even though I have a potentially life-threatening condition, I try to accept that you know, be realistic and accept that there could be a bad outcome, but I, at the same time, I encourage myself and my family and friends to remain hopeful because I beat adrenal insufficiency twice and I can do it again. And I beat my pituitary tumor recurrence before and I think I can do it again too. So I think there's a balance between being realistic and being hopeful that's really important. And I know some people have asked if there's anything they can do for me, which is really sweet. I really love how positive and kind all of you guys are and hearing that I've helped some of you or a lot of you, to be honest, is just, it means so much to me, even though I haven't been responding a lot. It's just because I felt so sick, but no, I see every comment and it really means a lot to me. It really is an honor to be able to help other people in scary situations. So thank you so much for watching my videos and giving me that opportunity. Um, I'm gonna end with you can help me best by just praying for peace for me, my family, for complete healing on this earth, and for us to find a good team to take care of these issues so that I can live the life I want to live. I had all these plans of where I wanted to be at this point and I've gotten so frustrated with myself lately because I didn't understand, you know, why I can't do these things. I want these things so badly. Why can't I get out of bed? But now I understand. And yeah, on that note, I want to wish all of you the best in health and happiness and yeah, I hope you're having a great day or night, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.